Hey everyone, Steve the Average Gamer, we're back in the Star Realms campaign. When we left off, we were in the middle of Chapter 9, Beyond the Nebula. That's what we're going to get back into today. Mission 3 is called Unlikely Alliance. You are Commander Brenton Click. You escaped the recent blob attack on your doomed colony by the grace of a Trade Federation fleet. And now their CEO, Chris Shaner, expects information. You agree to share your system map with him. Blob attacks have increased, and you may need the help of this unpleasant capitalist to find out why. You suggest a raid on a nearby machine cult colony. One of their remote information gathering beacons will have a detailed sector scan, but you warn Mr. Shaner to expect resistance. The fanatical chrome domes guard the oracle well. Okay, and the achievements for this mission, and this is a hard one to get all the achievements because the AI, the cultists, come at you pretty hard from the get-go. Scrap four, six, and all eight scouts that you have in your deck. And the extra rules, the standard, of course, you draw five up at the end of your turn. In this mission, you'll be drawing up an additional card at the start of the game and the end of each turn. Let me turn the volume down here real quick. There we go. And let's uh, let's give this mission a run. Alright, so I'm starting off with a standard deck. Um, eight scouts. I got four in my hand and the four here. And they're starting off with a semi-standard, plus they have a convoy bot, which gives them four attack and the ability to scrap every time that card comes out. Command Center is a good pickup, but I'm actually going to go for the Central Station, because I know I'm actually going to be able to, if should, should be available to Command Center when it comes around next turn. Plus the Central Station is usually ignored in subsequent turns. Oh, wow, this is actually a good good uh, choice here. I'm going to go for the Command Center because it gives the two trade and I'm going to start going heavy on Star Empire to pick up uh... I'm going to think of the word here in a minute. I'm going to go for more Star Empire cards. So play that guy. Play these up. Oh, okay. This is actually tough. I could go for the Peacekeeper would keep my health up long enough to scrap. The Federation Shipyard would give me more trade but it's going to be targeted instantly by whatever they picked up. They'd only picked up a Frontier Fairy, so if those two come out, that's eight attack combined. I'm going to go for the Shipyard, and that's probably a mistake, but I do need to start dealing damage, and I think having a little bit of extra health is going to do well. All right, so we'll play him. I'm going to grab the Colony Seed Ship because I played the Central Station, and this one lets you put it directly into your hand. So, we've got plenty of health now. Grab the Star Barge, the Lancer. I need to start scrapping Scouts, so Repair Bot's a must. And a Solar Skiff, that'll help build up. Don't have enough, obviously, so let's see. Can I hold on? Nope, I'm in trouble. Gonna lose the Command Center. That's gonna give me some extra health and draw up. Sweet. Next ship or base to the top of my deck and the Factory World is going to be that choice because next ship or base you acquire with the factory world goes straight into your hand. It's also got some pretty hefty defenses. I don't want to scrap my command center, so I'll hit none for that. Take out both bases, and... If the incinerator was available, I totally would have gone for it, but in this case, I have no blob units. I'm going to grab the Trade Hauler, just to help me buy up, and I need to start scrapping some of these cards really bad right now. I lose the Shipyard. Damn it. Let's see what I can do here. Next Shipper base to my hand. So, I'm actually going to grab the Incinerator, and start scrapping my Scouts. I need to get rid of them, and I need to start building up here, so... Um... I need machine cult cards. I need more of these guys right now, and I'm not getting them. Um, I guess I'll go for the Stellar Reef. Battlebot, that'll work for me. And I'll grab a Predator, even though I don't have anything else. Uh, machine cult, or blob right now. Can't take out any of my bases. That's a good thing. 
All right. Uh, next shipper base goes into my hand. So I'm going to do this and then this. Grab that. Put him down. Now I'm going to scrap two more scouts. Nothing in my discard. But I will activate his ally ability to give me two extra attacks there. Grab the mining mech. Scrap him. Do that. Now this goes to the top of the deck. And, man, nothing really good here. I don't think I have any of my... Nope, I don't have any... I don't have that little blob base in play yet. This is what I've got left. Um, I guess I'll go for the solar skiff on top of my deck. I'll get the warning beacon into play. And I guess the trade hauler. Uh, the gunship would have been a good pickup too. But I've got plenty of defense. I've got two, six. I have, I have 24 defense. Oh, and he copied the jerk. Okay, so I draw up. I still get the next shipper base into my hand because of the factory world. I have one scout there and one scout here. We'll scrap this scout. How many do I have left? I've got to be there. I've got them all! Sweet! I've actually never done this where I've gotten all of the scouts uh, taken out of play. So I'll grab the moonworm. And I'm definitely going to activate that just so I'm, because I'm scrapping a lot of cards right now. We'll draw up. Not what I was hoping for. Let's we'll draw up again. Plenty of attack coming my way now. Um, man, I only have five buying. <laughs> I thought I was going to have more here. Um, the Lancer's pretty darn good, but I think the Gunship's going to be a, the smarter pickup here. We'll do this. I'm taking out every single base they got because they're going to use them against me if I don't. I still have 14 defense. <clears throat> Alright, and he left the factory world in play, which was kind of foolish. Um, let's play this. And grab the Moonworm. This lets me put a card of two or three into my... Or two or less into my hand, so I'll grab the Lancer. I'll use that ability. Um, I'm going to grab the Parasite, because that's going to let me draw up again. And I'll just go for... What do I have here? Uh, I'll go for Attack. I'm going to see if I can knock this out right now. Draw another card up. Yet another one. I think I've got my entire deck in my hand at this point. I've got Lethal without doing anything else. Now let's just play everything. So I've got, holy crap! I think this has happened one time before where I've had this much attack in a single turn. And... Let me do this too. 51. I had one game when I was just playing on my iPad where I had like 70 attack in a single turn. And this is all that's left. Cause, and unfortunately I can't draw up any of these other cards. Like the Battlebot would give me another 4 attack. I could scrap him for another 2. I get another 3 out of the mining mech. And if I had the uh, command center in play, one, two, three, four, I'd have another eight attack just from that alone. So let's just buy up some cards here. The gunship, the aging battleship, the falcon, and the explorer. I didn't buy a single explorer this game, but he's also discarding four of these cards. Doesn't matter. Of course, he is out of there, and I'm really, really surprised that I actually got this mission done on the first try. Usually it takes me two or three to get through just this mission. Um, I am going to be heading out of town next week for a conference. I'm looking at doing a blog on that. And like, comment, and subscribe if you all are enjoying this series. Thank you all for watching, and I shall see you all later.